Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Ryder. Transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finish friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D. D's no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat, bro. Do you and doing me, bro? Making noise, use a beat, bro. Today we're testing out the Honda for the 750. It is a new Maxi Scooter 2021, which actually from the design, I, I think, <laughs> comes uh, from the Honda Integra. The front looks still looks like the Integra to me. Um, we have a liquid-cooled two-cylinder, uh, four-stroke, eight-valve uh, engine with 745 cubic centimeters. Uh, it has 43.1 uh, kilowatts or 58.6 horsepower at 7,000, at 6,750, I'm sorry. Um, the, the torque, maximum torque is 69 Newton meters already at 4,750. So that is very nice that the torque comes on very early. And we have a six speed double clutch transmission, automatic transmission, so you don't need to switch gears. You can if you want because you can also switch it to manual mode. Uh, we have a uh, fuel usage. Uh, Honda says it uh, uses 3.6 liters per 100. I seriously doubt that, but okay, maybe they uh, check that in the laboratory with rats or with apes. <laughs> um, then the uh, tank uh, has a capacity of 13.2 liters. The seat height is not too bad actually. It's 790 millimeters. Of course the seat is wider and uh, it's not really a 790 from a bike kind of perspective, but it's still okay. I'm 175 uh, meters or tall. And for me, everything fits just fine. Actually, it's uh, the ergonomics is quite nice for this, for my size. We have uh, the front tires is a 120, uh, 17 inch, and the rear is a 160, 15 inch. Um, we have a 41 millimeter upside down fork in the front, and we have a ProLink fork, no, not fork, uh, shock in the rear. The front brakes are 310 millimeters hydraulic double disc brakes with a radial mounted uh, four pistons. And the rear has uh, 240 millimeters hydraulic one disc with a double uh, piston, with double pistons. Uh, the uh, weight fully loaded with a uh, gas is 235 kilos and the uh, maximum capacity, I know how much actually you can add as weight to it is 199 kilos. Uh, um, the uh, Honda for the 750 does not come as a standard with this uh, uh, smart top box. As you can see here, you have to pay for that extra 
The uh, price in Spain here is 11,500 on the road. And uh, yeah, as I said, you can get the top box extra. There are four colors available. This beautiful red and black and blue and white, I think. Uh, that's all I can say. Uh, let's have a look at the controls, display and the uh, storage space. On the left hand side, we have the, the rear brake, which is adjustable uh, with six different, in six different steps, the right brake or the front brake, also adjustable six different steps. Uh, in the front, we have the uh, uh, little toggle switch uh, here for switching the gear up. And all the way underneath, you have the toggle switch for uh, switching the gears down. On top, we have a uh, kind of a strange uh, configuration. Never seen that before, but maybe because of this new switch, they had to do, move it there. Uh, we you know the lights are always on, but if you want to switch it to high beam, you just lift it up. And if you want to uh, signal someone, you have to press it down and then you have the passing light. Um, you also have a mode switch. You can switch the bike into three or four different modes. Let's see, we have standard, we have rain, user, and sport. And the user is user mode is fully configurable. We have a function button which can reset something here as I, oh, where are we? Uh, which I've heard also it uh, used in uh, when you use the Honda Road Sync app, you can use the function button. I think you have the uh, toggle switch. You, you have a uh, joystick button here for the different display options. We have a horn. We have uh, the blinker switch. Pretty nice, but hidden underneath. So it is Honda style. So you have to get used to this and not hit the horn. We have a um, a hazard light. And as I said, down there we have the... Uh, switch for the gear down in the middle you have this the push button for turning it on uh, if you want to turn it off you, you twist it to the left you also have a button for fuel and seat and you can also lock it you know lock the steering wheel or the steering the handlebar uh, when you press it further to the left uh, on the right hand side we have the uh, uh, parking brake switch here or lever and then we have a kill switch, integrated uh, ignition switch. And we have the uh, neutral drive switch, automatic and manual mode. So when you turn it on for the first time, it will be in neutral mode. Then you have to press the D button to drive. And then you can switch it to automatic or manual mode if you want to. Uh, these are the controls on the right hand side. You also have the throttle on the right hand side, of course. That's it. So, to turn it on, I push the button which I just showed you. And then the display comes on fairly quickly, fair, uh, fairly quickly booting up. And um, I will explain the display to you now. We have the, on the, on the top, we have the uh, clock. On the right hand side, we have the outside temperature, which will show up pretty soon. On the left hand side, we have uh, the... Uh, uh, indicator for the uh, that that your sight stand is down on the right hand side we have a uh, information that uh, the oil uh, pressure is not sufficient um, usually that happens when the engine is not running in the middle you have the rpm counter the display as a whole you can switch different types of displays i will show you we have the speedometer in the middle. We have the fuel capacity. We have different... Uh, oh, let me switch actually everything into English. I'm sorry, I'm still in the German. I was in the German video. So I'm sorry, guys. Uh, so we have the English now. Um, uh, and down below, all the way down below here, we have a trip A, trip B total. We can switch that with a little joystick button. We go like this, then you can see fuel consumption and all these three uh, data down there. You can switch, actually, you can uh, customize them to your liking in the, in the menu later on. As you can see, you can see different information down there. On the right-hand side, we have P, E, B, D, and T. 
Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think <laughs> P means stands for power. So in standard mode, you don't have the full power. Then you have EB for engine brake. You have D for for the double clutch transmission, I think uh, that's what it stands for. Um, and T for the traction control, which you can switch around. I mean, not in this mode, but in the user mode. We also have the gear indicator. And uh, there's it says something about function key reset. I'm not really sure what to do with that. So let's get into the uh, menu here quickly. You have to press the uh, joystick button to the right for about two seconds and you go into the uh, menu. You have function first, then you can see the riding modes and you can switch the user mode. You can change the user mode, all the others you cannot switch uh, because, let's see. No, of course not. Only the user mode you can uh, switch around. Um, like, uh, you know, you want full power in user mode or not, and stuff like that. So, then we have, we can change the shift point. You can turn it on, off, or at 7000. I think here it is at the moment set to on. I will not fool around with it. Then we have self-canceling turn signals. Uh, I think when you forget to turn off your blinkers, you know, they will self-cancel after... I don't know, 150 meters or 15 seconds. Please tell me if you know for sure. Uh, I couldn't find a user manual in the uh, internet yet. Trip A auto reset. I, I think that means when you go and get your uh, uh, get get the tank filled up at the gas station, it automatically resets. I had that also on my CV500X economy mode. You can switch that to save fuel. The display you can switch to different display types. You have the loop, you have the design, you have analog and the digital. It's just uh, the looks, you know, the, which you can switch around. You can also switch the brightness from 8 to 1, also auto mode, which has a, a automatic detection of light. Then the background, you can switch to white, black, metallic and auto. Let's put it on maybe black. Let's see what uh, black looks like. That's a black one. Okay, yeah, that doesn't look too bad, huh? Anyways, let's go back. Uh, where were we? We were in display background, right? Then favorite information. This is where you can switch the lower, uh, the lower uh, line here, which I showed you before. The three different parameters. You can switch around what you want to see in these, and you can switch them twice. Uh, with us uh, when you're riding so you have six data sets basically available there I don't fool around with this now you go user letter you can put some your your name in it or something for what I don't know for Bluetooth maybe I don't know you can uh, change the date time the units you know to metric and imperial language Bluetooth pairing reset, also some information for service, maintenance, equipment, DTC, regulatory. I'm not going to go into that, but you can see that it's there. And that's basically it. I mean, I'm sure there's more to it. You can also connect the Honda Road Sync for navigation, uh, for messages and for calls, but only you can only connect them to your Bluetooth headset in your helmet. Uh, it will not show anything as I heard. Uh, on the display unfortunately not even arrows and that is really sad I mean navigation or they say you know they that you do not get distracted but that kind of sucks I think anyways you have such a nice display and then you cannot show the the navigation that really sucks um, yeah that's about the display let's go to the storage space so on the right hand side on the left hand side we don't have anything no cubby holes on the right hand side we have a little cubby hole here you can put your gloves in there. It's space for about basically two of my hands. So as you know, my hand is this big and there's no USB unfortunately in there. I think there's a USB connection in the storage space underneath the seat. Uh, you open up the seat uh, by pressing the seat button and uh, the fuel by pressing the fuel button. Let's go to fuel. Here's the fuel. Let's press the seat button. Yeah. 
and we, I put my helmet in there already so you can see it's a shark Evo line helmet um, I will take it out it fits in there just barely but my shark Evo line is fairly big sized and it's a full full-sized full-faced helmet um, so one helmet more or less fits in there um, yeah that's about it unfortunately nothing else let's close this up again so yeah this is all I wanted to tell you about this we will go back to the dealer now I will uh, show you around a little bit and how it rides and uh, yeah let's see and try and do the sound check now So this is the Honda for the 750. We will go back to the dealer now and I will explain a little bit or I show you what it's like to ride with the scooter or motorcycle. I don't know how to say what to say. Scooter or motorcycle. I think it's more like a motorcycle. It sounds like a motorcycle. It behaves like a motorcycle. It has little storage space and this foot position of course is more like a scooter. Uh, so the, these are the only elements basically but so far I do like it very much as I said this top box is not standard it is an extra seat height 790 and 175 so I can touch uh, the ground with both legs on both sides but of course since the seat is very wide it's different 790 to motorcycle standard so I push the button to turn it on I will ride it first in standard mode it is very very responsive the uh, throttle in standard mode okay but still I tried it out first in standard mode it was very responsive so you turn it on here you push this button <laughs> yeah, it, it actually has a neutral so you know it's on a regular six speed not not regular but <laughs> six speed uh, um, drive and you can switch it to automatic and manual mode but the manual mode naturally also does not allow some stupid suggestions of gears so you know if you go 120 kilometers an hour I don't think you can set it into first gear so let's uh, set it in D and let's go so it made the clack clack sound so we know that the gear that it's in gear now and let's go back oh okay maybe we should wait here a little bit Anyways, let's go. Let's see if the blinker actually turns off automatically. I set it now. Yep, turns off fairly quickly. I think quicker than on the KTM actually, so I like that. I don't, I don't like it when it stays on forever. Pretty nice. Of course, it's uh, since uh, the, it has no foot brake like on a on a um, regular motorcycle. You have to use left and right uh, lever here, and then of course that makes you feel like more uh, that you're on a scooter. But you can also switch the engine braking. You know, if you say, "Okay, I don't want to brake every time before a turn," 
you can set it to maximum. I have it now in standard mode and as you can see EB engine brake it's uh, set to two-thirds and uh, you can set it to full and then it ha you have more engine brake actually you know. So, so far the seating comfort is very nice. The seat is fairly firm and sturdy. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. It switches gears automatically up and down. Yep. Yes, I said in my other video already, in my German video, man, if I had the money, <laughs> I had so many bikes in my garage already, and this one would be one of them. You know, I don't really care if it's uh, shifting, yes, shifting, no shifting. I just like it. It's fun to ride. You can switch it manually if you want. You know, you don't have to, but it's so much fun. It is really so much fun. And the engine or the exhaust really sounds a little bit like, like a motorcycle. It really does. One, two, three, go. Holy shit! To be honest, I was not in full... <laughs> I was not in full, full throttle because I was really scared. You know, I'm still a beginner. <laughs> I'm still a beginner rider. <laughs> and that was kind of scary. This Newton meter, this torque, really was crazy. And I don't know, it was really quick and if it is if i measure that and it was fairly high so don't don't take it you know um, take it with a pinch of salt because I, I i think i did not uh, pull the uh, the throttle the full way because i was just too scared i'm just a chicken i have to admit it anyways um but yeah that kind of surprised me it really has a lot of power and you can do the 0 to 100 very, very, very quickly. It kind of rattles and puffs <laughs> when you uh, pull the throttle. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe because uh, the uh, it wants to switch gears or something. Or it, it is in a too high gear. But of course you can either, you know, push it even further. Or... Oh man, what is going on here? fifth gear now back to sixth gear this guy just doesn't he doesn't care if we make a test right here so we go let's go into sport mode we go third gear whoa that is pretty freaking crazy and I didn't want to do the 0 to 100 in sport mode because I'm a chicken. Call me chicken. Call me chicken boy. So, on Honda, you know, you have the uh, blinker switch at the wrong position, at least and on a different, in a different position. So, <laughs> uh, forgive me when I sound the horn. Standard mode, we're going to the city so we have to behave. Oh man, this 0 to 100 really blew my mind to be honest, but as I said, I'm, I'm still consider myself a beginner rider because I don't have that much riding experience and uh, I have a 48 horsepower <laughs> A2 uh, licensed bike and this is now 58 horsepower and you know, as I keep saying, this is already too much for me. 
but of course I will be testing other bikes for you but of course I will not be testing the maximum power and stuff like that because I don't want to get thrown off the bike and also I'm a big chicken of course you know and I want to live that's the other thing I don't want to lose control so maybe some people will understand me this is more the grandfather channel if you want to switch to a more modern uh, to channel uh, with where they actually test the maximum speed and zero to hundred like crazy maniacs you go switch to a different channel because this is a grandpa channel here <laughs> yeah I had to go 80 here because we have a we have a radar trap there yes my uh, verdict already unfortunately is a very short test ride to be honest um, it is very very responsive very very nice it leaves a very good impression it's a very big scooter on the other hand uh, on the other hand it does not have that much storage space unfortunately and um, so it's not really a maxi scooter it's a maxi scooter from the size of everything and of course the weight but uh, for the storage unfortunately not uh, not big enough uh, it would be nice to fit two helmets for your pillion rider as well not just for yourself and uh, yeah but my verdict is very positive you know once again I mostly like all of the bikes that I test ride holy shit yeah that really pulls like a crazy man <laughs> um, my verdict <laughs> is uh, it's more like a motorcycle it sounds also a lot more like a motorcycle the gear switching is more like a motorcycle it is more agile it is more powerful oh so beautiful flowers here <laughs> and uh, i cannot stress enough it is really a lot of fun and i wish i will could take it out a little bit more on the road not just for these 10 kilometer test rides whoa <laughs> It is really a bomb. It is definitely a bomb. But we have to be behave like normal people now because we have another speed trap coming up. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> once again, I think, I don't know, the price for this for me is too, way too much, you know. I cannot uh, actually afford a uh, scooter or motorcycle whatever for 12,000 euro almost 12,000 euro but um, it is definitely nice and I could highly recommend it to anyone I could recommend the DCT the double clutch uh, uh, drive it is really really nice gearbox see where it switched down to first gear now we can stand in first gear we don't have to push it into neutral or anything like that it is really nice oh god I wish I could take it home with me this baby that's I think that's about it we'll bring it back to the dealer and um, it's actually a very very nice color kind of metallic uh, uh, red colorish um, anyways <laughs> thanks very much for watching this very short test ride of the Honda for the 750 I do like it I gave it two thumbs up if you're in the market for this one go and get it thanks very much for watching this has been our ride out take care bye bye